Hey, our friends, we're going to do another sketch challenge today with checkers. Yeah. Yeah, are you excited? Yeah. yeah. This is going to be a lot of fun. Usually I do these by myself, but we're, I think we need to start doing them a lot more with you. Because our art friends are telling us that they want to see the steps. They want me to talk about the steps more. And that's what's so much fun about doing our other lessons is that you do them with me and we do them step by step so our yeah. art friends can do it with us, right? Mm -hmm. And so I've been doing these fun, cool drawings, but it's kind of hard for our art friends to follow. So we need to do this more, huh? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so we're going to do a koi fish today. And I already did a koi fish, but we didn't talk about the steps. So that's why we're doing it again. And we have a picture on our computer up here that we're looking at, right? Yeah. And I'm going to leave a link to this picture in our description of this video. So our art friends can click the link and then see what we're looking at. Okay. okay. It's a really cool photograph of a koi fish and it's looking down at, at the koi fish and he's swimming. So you guys can pause the video and click that link so that you can look at it if you're following along with us. Okay. Okay. All right. So the materials we're using is just a, a, an ebony pencil from Prismacolor. But our art friends can use a regular pencil. It doesn't have to be this special pencil. And then we're using a blender stub. And that's what this is. And we use this to kind of help us shade. But our art friends can use their fingers to shade. And we'll do that too. We'll use our fingers, but we also use this. It's nice because it has a point. And then we have links to all of these materials down in the description of this video also. So if a parents or an adult wants to buy these art materials, they can check that out on Amazon. We're also using a kneaded eraser. This is really cool because you can sculpt it and then um, get like a little point and then you can erase smaller details. I also just started using a plastic eraser. This thing is nice because it keeps a sharp edge. It's easy to keep a sharp edge and so you can uh, do lines real easily with this. You can erase a line, which is nice. Okay, and our paper is just regular printer paper, right? Yeah, yeah it's just regular, plain old printer paper. There's nothing special about this. Mm -hmm. We try to make it, keep it easy so that our friends have these materials at home. Yeah. All right, dude, you done talking? Yeah. You've been doing a lot of talking. Should we start sketching? Wait, not me, it's you. <laughs> I know it's me. All yeah. right, dude, let's do this. Okay. Okay, so first step, we're going to use our pencils. <laughs> All right, and we're going to do what we always do at the beginning of our sketch, and that is just to try and find the shapes and the overall outline of our object, okay? Kay. And usually we start with the middle. We start with a line that's down the center of whatever we're drawing. So we got this really cool fish. His head is pointed down here at the bottom. So we're just going to draw the spine or like the, or the middle of our fish, okay? So we can just do a light line, and we're holding the pencil different, huh? Yeah. We're holding it not like this, we're holding it like this, and the reason why is because that helps keep our elbow off the table so that we can do nice sweeping lines. If your hand's down like this, you just do little scratchy lines like this, okay? Okay. So this helps us keep a nice uh, sketchy line. Okay, now let's do, let's do a little line down here for his mouth. That's where his head's going to be. And see how I split so the middle of his head is going to be right there. Okay, and then we're going to come up here and we're going to measure where his eyes are. So right about here is where his eyes are. And I'm going to put a line that goes right through here just to measure so that his, his eyes can be yes. And this line is perpendicular to this line so that when we draw his eyes out here and out here, they're going to be in the right spot. Okay, so now let's draw the outside of our fish. So he's got... A line that comes out here and a line that comes out here so it gets kind of wide this is the widest part of his body we can kind of measure that too yeah, yeah good job yeah and I try to just do a couple lines if you do a lot of lines then you start getting a really thick line oh. in there and I've got kind of a thick line too but I just try to keep a couple lines there you go good job so I'm also looking at the distance from here to here because he's symmetrical right yeah so this distance right to here and to here should be about the same. So if you draw a line that comes out here, where this is at, this is the wide part, right? Mm -hmm. Check this line. So if you have a line that's all the way out here and out here, it's a little wider than here to here, right? Yeah. So maybe this line, and I'm going to draw on your paper. It's fine. And people might freak out, but that's okay because we're practicing okay. and I'm trying to help, right? Mm -hmm. So that's where maybe that line and that line would meet. These two match, right? Okay. So yeah, we can erase some of the extra lines if you want to, and we can do that later also at the very end. Good job, man. That's awesome. All right, okay, now let's finish his body. So it's going to get a lot thinner as it comes back to his tail. And his tail ends and st or starts right about here. We can put a little line right there, and that's where we're going to get to, okay? 
So we put a little line there and then this line, we're gonna do a nice sketch, sketchy line that comes back like this. Cool, that's super awesome. Hey, now let's do the same thing with this side. It's gonna curl in and then come back like this. Isn't that a cool shape? Mm-hmm. Wait. Yeah, keep going. Like that? Yeah, so you can do the same thing. Anywhere on this, on his body, you should be able to put a line like this and then measure here to here and see if it's symmetrical, right? Yeah. No, you. I think this line is good. So I think it was good right here. You added a little extra so that right through here, this would be the same distance, right? Mm -hmm. And then it probably needs to come up closer like you were doing so that these two lines, so right here, see how close you are here? Okay. Here? So maybe in there. So like... Yeah, yeah. So this line can come up and come up and kind of touch where that line is. Yeah, good job. And then come back down to where you were. Perfect, yeah, that's it. So now you can go in and let's erase some of those other sketchy lines so you know which line you, you want to keep. Okay. Okay, now let's get the shape for his tail. So he's got one line that comes off the middle of his tail and it swirls and kind of curls back, curls back like this. Okay. And then there's a line below that that's, that curls out the other way. Yeah, good job. So he's got the swirl at the top on this one, and then this one swirls out like this. Good job. And then this line right here on the side of his body curls into this line and just comes together like this. Good, that's awesome. Okay, and then there's another part that curls out. So I think it's the same line. We could curl this part. Good. Mm. And when we're sketching, it, one of the hardest things is we get a ton of lines in there, right? Yeah. And then it's kind of hard to tell which line we want to keep. And so once you get a line that you want to keep, go ahead and erase the other ones. Good job, Chuckers. All right, okay. Now we got a couple more lines that we can connect in here. So let's connect this line right here. So the end of his tail. Yeah. And then let's connect this part of his tail back in also. So it's, that's, it's really kind of wavy and cool, huh? Mm -hmm. All right, okay. Now let's get his, his other fins in there. So we got another shape up here. And so we'll just, we can just easily put that one in. It's just a curved line that comes off the top. And then it comes back in. Nice. And then he's got a top, the top of his tail where the top fin, it just kind of falls over. So we're just gonna draw um, the, the front line that comes off and that comes out right, right about at the middle of this, of his body, like right here. And then this is also where the side fins are gonna come out. So let's put, draw a line a really light line that crosses his whole body, right where his tail, or his, the top fin. And make sure, you wanna make sure that this line is perpendicular to that center line. So it'd probably start here and end here, kind of cross in between those. Yeah. Oh, light. Yeah, that's okay, you did a little darker, but that's okay, we can, light, we can erase it. All right, and then that's where his um, tail, or his side fins, his big side fins are gonna come out. So well, let's draw the big side fins that come out. One's over here on this side. And then on the same side, we're gonna come over here and come out in the same place over here for this side fin. I'm gonna make these a little smaller and then we'll come back in. And then right before it comes into the body, it comes in like this. So we do another curve right there. And then we could do the same thing, cross over to this side Make a little curved line and connect this side too. Awesome, that's really cool.
No, it's good. So this one's a little yeah. smaller. So let's so go ahead and sketch it and make it a little bigger. And you know what? Now that you start getting it all laid in there, you kind of start realizing that this tail curls in more than mine does, huh? Yeah. So mine's coming almost straight down and yours is kind of curling back into his body. So you have less room to fit that fin in. And you could take the time to erase this, but I don't want you to. Let's just keep going, okay? Okay. So let's just make change it and make it cool because that's all right, right? Mm -hmm. It's okay if yours looks different. So go ahead and just let's make his fin a little bit bigger so it doesn't look broken. <laughs> Or wimpy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so are you going to put this fin below the tail or above the tail? Yeah, it's up to you. You can change it however I'll you want. Above. And we'll do it above. So draw through it. And then you want to make sure that the fin's coming over. It's the same as the other side. There you go. So right about there and then connect it back in. Good job. And then you mm -hmm. can connect it to this line right here, right? Yeah. Yeah. There you go, awesome. And then you can erase all those other lines that you don't need. Good job, that's awesome. It looks really cool. So even though it looks different, it still looks awesome, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay, so let's get a couple more things. Let's get his eyes in there really quick. So we got an oval, and we got an oval on this side. And see how that line helped us put the eyes in the right spot. So. If you draw his eyes a little bit tighter, a small, like a flatter oval or a flatter ellipse, it's going to make it look like his eye is more on the side of his body. Yeah. Good job. If you were to draw a circle, it would look like his eye is on top of his head, huh? Yeah. So this, drawing his eye like a, a, an ellipse like this, makes it look like it's 3D and his eyes on the side of his head. Good job. That looks awesome. Okay, now let's get his nostrils. He's got little nostrils in here up at the top. Sweet, good job. Okay, now he's also got this really cool line that comes down the side, right above his eyes, like this. And so we'll just draw this in really quick. This line, and then another line on this side. And it's kind of, it looks like a bone line that goes through his, his head. And then it kind of just fades into his body. Yeah, that looks super cool. Good job. Yeah, that looks awesome. We're gonna add the details to his fins, his side fins, his top fin, and his tail fin, okay? So we're just gonna come in and let's just add the texture. And it's I'm gonna press a little bit harder since I wanna keep these lines. And I'm just gonna add the, uh, and it's okay if these are wobbly, and wavy because that's what the fin's doing, huh? Mm -hmm. And so we add those in, the little texture, and I'm gonna add this in over here too. Like this. So we got his fins in there. And we start adding the details once we get all of those shapes blocked in. And that's, so that was that first step that we did. Make sure all the, all the shapes are in the right spot. Yeah, so were you, did you kind of put them in there? Yeah, so I put them like straight. Straight across. So just like you did over here, you curve from here and then curve all the way into that part of this. Let's line your paper up. There we go. Yeah, so it curves in. Perfect. Good job. Okay, now let's add, we're going to add some of these up here. And we don't need to add too many, but we're just going to add some little ones right here to the back or the back fin on his body. Yeah, that looks awesome, dude. Good job. Okay, now let's add them right here to the side fin. And the same thing, but not as many on this one because it's a little, it's smaller. 
And I think he's supposed to have another fin over here too, but it's it's hidden on the picture. So we're gonna leave that off. I'm gonna add him to the side. And then I'm also gonna to add to the tail. So just do the same thing. And I'm gonna make these lines in the same shape as the center line. See how the center line is like an S curve? I'm gonna do that same S curve with the tail fin, with the texture on the tail. Good job. All right, cool. All right, okay, before we do anything else, let's let's erase um, our guidelines. So the lines that we use to measure things, let's get rid of those really quick. All right, checkers, we got the guidelines all erased. Let's do the pattern on his back next, okay? okay? And his pattern is really black, but our koi fish is white. And so we're gonna leave the shading to the very end because we wanna put some black patterns on there, okay? Okay. All right, so first, let's just start working on the spots and we're just gonna fill it in. We're just gonna fast forward this part. Our art friends can look at the picture that we're referencing and they can do this part with us, okay? okay. There's nothing special about it. We're just gonna look at the picture and try and copy it. All right, checkers, we got those spots in there. And now what I'm doing is just adding really, uh, really light uh, orange spots. So the orange spots on our fish, we're gonna do as a gray. And I just, I colored those in with, uh, or filled those in with my pencil. And then we're gonna do the shading on top of this. And then hopefully these will look a little darker. So to smooth that out, we can either take our finger or we can use our blender and just go over that the spots, those orange spots, and just smooth out that texture good job okay now you ready for the shading yeah okay this is gonna be the cool part oh let's darken in his eyes really quick so we'll just add a little dark spot inside those eyes there we go okay now we're gonna we can use our blender or we can use our finger either one I'm gonna use the blender first and then I'll use my finger on some of the other parts so let's do a little shading on his fin on the fins first, and then we're gonna do uh, the shading on his body last. So he's got kind of this, uh, he's got a little uh, fold in his fin right here that adds a little shadow. And then we'll come over here and we'll do the same thing on this side. So add a little shadow. So it looks like his fins are wavy in the, in the water. Well, you know what, I to we totally left off a whole fin. I didn't even realize it. <laughs> we got a whole fin that we're missing, but that's okay. Let's leave it off. All right, and then we're gonna do a little more shading over here, just on the end of this fin. And then let's do a little shading on the top fin right here. So it just looks like it's folded. So I'm gonna add one shadow here and another shadow like that. And then we're gonna add some shading back here on the tail. Just right down the center of it like that pretty simple huh yeah and it looks really cool mm -hmm. good job okay so now you can add another layer right here and see if you can get a little darker remember where that center was the center of your tail i'm going to put a little darker line right here where where you already have it right here so we have a little more contrast a little more shading darker shadow right in the center so yeah good job that's awesome dude looks really good okay now let's do his, the side of his body so we're going to add a shadow that comes down the side of his body and this is what's going to make him look 3d we could use our finger i'm going to use my finger so that our friends know what what it looks like if we use our finger down the side of his body and so this makes it look like he's more 3d <laughs> Then I'm gonna do the same on this side. I'm gonna go down the side of his body and it, you can blend all of those spots kind of help you shade, huh? Mm -hmm. That's why I wanted to use uh, the, do the spots first. So I'm shading outside of the fish too and we're gonna go back and clean up that edge with our eraser. So I'm gonna come back here and add the little shadow on the inside that goes into his tail also, or into the top fin. 
like that. Sweet. That's looking awesome. It looks really cool. So, and then I also try to use really long uh, strokes so that the shadow or the shading looks really smooth. So you can do big, long, long like this strokes. Awesome. That looks really good. And then we want to make sure that we're leaving kind of a white on the top of his body. So you can come back. Let's come back and you can erase out that top part so it looks like there's a white spot, a highlight on top of his body. Okay. Good job, checkers. Okay, you got some of those uh, that highlight cleaned up on the top of it, on the top of his body. And our friends can do that too if it got a little messy. Okay, now let's do the cleanup on the outside of his body. So we want to use our eraser to come back in and make a straight uh, or clean up the edge of our fish. So we're going to use the eraser to come back in and clean up that that side. See how now you can see where his, where his body is again. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to do the same up here. So I even went, when I was shading, I went outside just like you did. But we come back and we'll get rid of all of those little smudge marks so that it's cleaned up and looks like a fish again. Okay, we got the outside of his body all cleaned up. Now let's use um, the eraser and we're going to erase and get some of the details. So there, we're going to add a little texture to his, his uh, tail. And you know what? We need to get a new needed eraser so that it works a little bit better. And that's kind of another reason why I'm using this, this guy is because you can get a really clean edge. So I'm going to come in here and add little white lines in his tail. You see that? Mm -hmm. so we can add a little edge on some of this, some of the texture on his tail. I'm going to do that up here too. Put a little white edge. And right here, just add a little detail right there. And then also, I'm going to erase a little part of his, right above his eye. So it looks like the light's hitting the top of his eye, like that. And then also on his nostril, a little line there for his nostril. Yeah, that looks really cool. I like how you're doing that. So you're doing it so that the line doesn't go all the way through. And it looks really cool. I like that. You could do that on his tail too. Good job on putting those details in there, man. It's fun using an eraser, kind of like, almost like drawing, right? Yeah. It's the opposite of, of putting a line down when you're taking it out. So you put a white line in there instead of a dark line. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks so really cool. Okay, so the last step we're going to do is just, let's just tighten up some of the lines, okay? Sorry, I was going to take your <laughs> pencil. So uh, some of our lines started disappearing, and we're just going to tighten up some of those lines, which means just put them in a little bit darker so that you can see them because some of them got a little erased. We'll come back in here and then I'm going to put and some I like putting a dark part in there and then fading it out so that it's not just a constant line. So it'll go dark to light and then over here maybe add a little bit more dark close to the close to the fin and then it's lighter as it comes out. Cool. Okay, and then I'm going to add, he's got a little uh, whiskers on the side too, so we can put those in. We didn't draw those in at the beginning because they're so small. I'm going to draw a little darker where his mouth is in here. And then he's also got some little details up here on the top of his head. You can kind of just draw those in real lightly. He's also got a little marks on the side. And then maybe like right here on the end of his tail or the end of his fin, you can put little dark, darker spots towards the edge of his fin like that. Does that look cool? Mm -hmm. 
I'm gonna do the same back here on his tail. Little darker spaces. Chuckers, good job, man. Give me five. Did you have fun? Yeah. You did super awesome on your koi fish. It looks really 3D. And even though our koi fish look different, it's okay, right? Mm -hmm. Most important thing is to have fun. Yeah, to have fun. We hope you guys had a lot of fun following along with us. And the way that we did this, let us know in the comments below if you were able to follow along a lot easier this way. So we want to. I want to make these lessons a lot easier for our art friends. Mm -hmm. And so I hope that this way was better for them. So even though we fast forward a lot of stuff, hopefully the tips and the stuff that we talked about makes it easier for them to sketch a koi fish with us. Yeah. The cool thing too is that they can practice another koi fish. Just yeah. get online and check out another koi fish and try and draw that one by yourself. Mm -hmm. Be cool. All right, so we want to see a picture of how their drawings turned out, right? Yeah. What's our email address? Myart at artforkidshub.com. Yeah, myart at artforkidshub.com. Be sure to ask a parent or adult to take a picture and send it to us. And we'll feature it in our next Monday video. Yeah. 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 We'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Bye, our friends.